Hello friends, my name is Tofik and you're watching my channel Graphics Den. So in this video in Adobe Illustrator, we are going to create a text effect using simple steps. So first of all, I have already taken a black rectangle and I have also locked the layer. If I unlock this, it will move, but I don't want it to move. So I locked it so that it remains in place. Then I'm going to write down some random text. For example, I will write down, I will color it with white first so that it will be visible. Yes, designing, graphic designing. I'm going to change the font so that it will look, it will look a bit thicker. Maybe this one. I will choose a bolder font. This looks good. Again, I am going to draw a circle and I am going to turn off the fill color and we only need the outline. Then we are going to convert this text to outline like this and you can also use the type menu to do the same. I am going to create this into outline so these are now outlines from text now using the brush panel if you are not seeing the brush panel over here you can simply turn it on using the window and brushes so I'm going to convert this into new brush using this particular button over here new brush and keep it to pattern brush and don't make any changes in the values and if you want to name it you can name it let's say name it maybe new new brush okay now click over here and apply this particular brush that we have created so it will look something like this and I'm going to increase the size a little bit so that it is easily visible again I'm going to zoom it control 0 to fit to window now we are simply going to go to effects distort and transform and transform and remember whenever you use transform effects option keep at least one copy on so that we will see a real time preview of what's going on so I have kept the copies at one then decrease these values let's say 88 same value maybe a little bit more 83 before that before that what we can do is we can go to the uh, width profile and we can choose this particular option then after that we can go to so that it will look a bit different so again same transform again copies at least one then yes this and maybe 88 maybe a little bit less 86 maybe yes this looks good and angle 15 degrees so that there is a variation in shape like this the alignment and increase the copy maybe 16 so it will look something like this already looking pretty good then uh, using the object panel expand appearance so that they will become separate and again ungroup right click ungroup now they are separate now select alternate rows like this so I have selected alternate rows and color it to whatever color you like so for example this, this looks pretty good now I'm going to select all the text and using this particular option free transform tool and the last option free distort you're going to apply a perspective to the text like this so this looks pretty good to me so this is an effect that you can obtain using simple steps I recommend that you do try this out and maybe you can try different color variations color combinations so that it looks different maybe different background bigger uh, different text color but do try this out so that's it for this video if you like the video please give this video a thumbs up and 
consider subscribing to my channel so i'll see you in the next video until then bye bye and cheers